Stand on your word. Stand on your promise. Oh, my soul says yes. My soul says yes. Even when my faith is weary. I believe, I believe, for I know that you will answer, Lord, I believe, I believe, I stand on your Stand on your promise, stand on your word, I stand on your promise, oh, oh, my soul says yes, my soul says yes, to your of God's family. We've got to strive to please the Father. How many of you want to be in God's family? Well, you get in God's family by pleasing him, by doing his will. That's what Matthew 12 and 50 says. For the Bible says, for whosoever shall do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother, the same is my sister, the same is my mother. If you do God's will, Jesus said, hey, that's my brother over there. That's my sister. That's my mother. That's my friend. So again and again and again, Jesus stresses the importance of obedience to God. In Luke 6, 46, he says, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do the things which I say? He said in the Lord's Prayer, he teaches us to pray, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In 1 John 2 and 3, John said, Hereby do we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Hereby do we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments is a liar. Whoa. Somebody say, Whoa. 1 John 3, 24, he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him, and he in him. In other words, if you don't keep the commandments, you're not dwelling in the Lord. And the Lord is not dwelling in you. My spirit does not dwell in an unclean temple, so the Lord said. So without obedience, all of our beautiful words, all of our high praises, all of our singing and shouting are useless and vain. God and Jesus want to use men to proclaim the word of God and to spread the gospel throughout the world. It is through men, through believers, that God will work in the world. The church is the means by which Jesus intends that his will should be done in the earth. And when his will is revealed, we must obey him or else his will will be thwarted and it will not have its full impact upon the earth. Without obedience, we have no means of enforcing the message of Christ in the world. If we don't obey, how can we expect men in the world to obey Jesus Christ? 